In this video today, we will talk about the key concepts of group reporting. In my another video, uh, we discussed uh, what group reporting is and what central finance uh, and how it interacts with central finance. But here we will go a little bit deep into uh, group reporting, uh, what it is all about. So as we are in video 23, uh, we are now moving ahead in the series uh, with a lot of FAQ format questions. People are liking the videos. Uh, so please keep sharing and liking and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's just uh, recap uh, what is group reporting. So in the in I'll not uh, go through the text uh, in current environment. What happened is every company is generally a, a global company. Uh, most of them, not say every, uh, most of them. And they have large businesses scattered in different countries. So they have like, uh, you know, there's a group and then you have uh, regions. And then, for example, you have, uh, you have Unilever, which is uh, a very a head office. Then we have regions like Asia, like America, like Europe and then all have their and then you have countries in europe you have netherlands you have uh, germany you have uk and then in asia you have singapore india so every country has its own reporting every region has its own reporting and then you have to report at the group level which is at the top the the revenue of the global uh, organization so that's group reporting you have to do the consolidation of numbers you eliminate your intercompany transaction which you are trading for example if singapore is selling to germany if uh, China is selling to Netherlands, you you eliminate those transactions and you finally re report the real revenue and the real uh, group numbers. So that's group reporting. It's basically a consolidation uh, of the group financial statements in addition to preparing an individual financial statements for each company. As I said, you know, uh, you prepare it for country level, you prepare it for region level, and then you prepare it for global level. So the steps for uh, this are you transact, you close, you consolidate. So first you do your normal month, uh, normal transactions. You do purchase, sales, uh, assets, accounting, and several other transactions, uh, of course, in the business. Then you do your month and closing, and at the end you do consolidation. So these are the three steps at a high level. Uh, then you, at the end, you consolidate your numbers, you consolidate your uh, data. So once uh, every entity in the group uh, closes their books, uh, at the month end, then the consolidation process can start. So unless if any entity is delayed in closing, consolidation process get delayed. Uh, now, what is an S4 HANA? In S4 HANA finance uh, for group reporting, it's a new product which offers the same SAP Fury unified user experience as the remaining components of S4 HANA. As S4 HANA is all most of them the Fury based. So for group reporting also, there are Fury apps which will bring several advantages to end users and administrators. It's easy to manage, simplified, uh, and you know, of course, good looking. Uh, first, uh, the unified interface helps end user learn how to operate the component easily, and all critical operational local closing and group closing apps can be accessed through the single SAP Fury Launchpad. So within Fury, you have operational reporting app, then you have local closing. For example, you are closing for Singapore, you are closing for China, you are closing for Germany. And then you have a group group reporting closing apps. You close for Europe region, you close for Asia PAC region, and then you close for uh, headquarters level. So for that, for different purposes, there are different apps uh, which uh, simplify the process. So this is just a view of Fury apps, uh, just a sample. Uh, these are a lot of Fury apps are available within uh, within group reporting. So there was a question uh, somebody asked me when of the video, do we have Fury apps or how group reporting works uh, in terms of uh, Fury availability? So yes, uh, Fury apps are available for group reporting. What are the deployment options? So deployment options are simple. S4 HANA cloud for group reporting. This is for cloud users. Uh, S4 HANA finance for group reporting. This is for on-premise users. So those customers who are on cloud, they can use the first one for those customers who are on premise they can use the second one so just to clarify the difference between cloud and premise those people who are listening this video uh, this video now or you are not aware cloud is uh, is the data center is based based out of uh, it's sap cloud generally uh, where you know your data is stored in the public or the private cloud and uh, uh, public and the private cloud yeah and then you based on the extensibility usage you it's a pay per use kind of thing but it's in group reporting or in premise solution what you generally do is uh, in on premise 
the data centers, uh, the servers are hosted in your premise. It can be your premise or your rented premise uh, with your data hosting partner. And then you, in that case, uh, you can use on premise solutions. So both the options are available. When you have S4 HANA, you can activate for you know, on, on group reporting on cloud or on premise. So both options are available depending on your situation, your scenario. So as we are moving in the series, uh, we have uh, this video number 23 key concept of group reporting and if you go to video number uh, 18 you will understand how central finance and group reporting are connected so if you see 18 and if you listen 18 and 23 together you will get a end-to-end -end overview of central finance and group reporting in what we are talking about uh, we will add more videos in this series as we move in the process uh, please keep on liking subscribing and sharing the channel with your peers and colleagues very happy to see a lot of comments, a lot of questions coming to me. Mm, please keep your po keep posting your comments, your uh, even your experience, your views, your comments, uh, which will also help me to to frame the content and to also share more and more content with you. Thank you so much for now, and I will uh, touch base with you in the next video very soon. Thank you.